What's up guys? Welcome. I am Jen. Thanks for clicking on this video. I'm doing something fun today. I am shopping my closet and recreating Pinterest looks. So this is an idea I didn't think of myself. A couple other YouTubers have done this before, the shop your closet and recreate looks that they find on Pinterest. I actually saw a video not that long ago done by Tina's Best Midlife and she did this, shopped her closet and recreated some looks on Pinterest and I thought it was a cool idea so I thought I want to try this. The item that she did when she did her video was a jacket and I loved the ideas that she came up with. I thought it was a really fun way to kind of get inspiration just looking up on Pinterest, finding something in your closet and like putting it into the Pinterest search and coming up with ideas like how you can style it differently to kind of, you know, freshen up your wardrobe. It's an opportunity to go in your closet and find those things that maybe you really love and you don't want to get rid of them, but you haven't worn them in a while and you don't, you want to freshen them up and you want them to kind of look a little updated. And I think going on Pinterest and searching for items and outfit inspiration is a great way to do that. And since Tina's Best Midlife channel was my inspiration for this, I will link to her channel below and the specific video that I'm talking about because I think she did it another time too with a pair of pants. Anyway, I wanted to kind of make this a little bit even more challenging for myself and find something in my closet that, again, like I said, I don't really want to throw away. It's an item of clothing that I really like, but I want to kind of like wear it more. I want to feel like I'm wearing something trendy and in style, but I also want to kind of use my classic pieces from my closet. So what I found was, so when I went into my closet to try to find something that I wanted to kind of freshen up in style, this is the shirt that I came across. So this is from The Gap. It's just a basic um, Oxford shirt. It has like the shorter three quarter length sleeve. So this is an older shirt. It's definitely an older style. I think I own, I've owned this for maybe, I'm, I'm going to say like close to 20 years. I'm pretty much sure I bought this when I went back to work after my older daughter was born. This was one of my new outfits that I bought myself when I came back from maternity leave. So we're talking 19 years ago, pretty much. Uh, so this is old. And the three quarter length sleeve, I'm not sure if that's even still in style anymore. I like that style. I think this is pretty classic. And I don't throw these old shirts away anymore like this because uh, to be honest, like they just don't make stuff to the same level of quality anymore. Gap is pretty classic, but it is very hard to find a classic cotton button down Oxford shirt. So I have never thrown this away. I like this shirt a lot. I love it. I love Oxford shirts. I love the color pink and I would like to wear this more often but I was kind of like how can I modernize this how can I kind of update it and bring it up to today's style you know you don't really see people wearing button-down shirts anymore a lot of people wear peasant tops or these kind of blouses like I have on right now and called the collared shirt look is more like a preppy look but it is a classic look so I put it into Pinterest to try to get some ideas pink blouse, pink shirt, pink Oxford, and I did get some cool ideas and I'm going to try all of these outfits on and see what I think looks good. Okay, outfit number one. This is probably the most obvious choice for how I would style this shirt, classic black pants. Just gonna take off my compression glove. I do have my compression sleeve on. So my inspiration for this outfit that I found on Pinterest was the GOAT, the OG, the classic of all time, the Princess Diana pink shirt, black pants outfit. I'll just back up a little bit so you can see. And these are pants from Loft. These pants do have belt holes. I am not wearing a belt. I don't really have a cool and stylish belt, but if you had one, 
you know, the ones that have like the designer logo or whatever, that would look so good with this as well. I don't have that kind of out, so I can't show that off. You could also kind of go classic with your jewelry and do pearls with this, pearl bracelet. Like I think that would really nail this look. And to show my shoes, I just have on like a regular black patent leather loafer. Okay, so here is this shirt styled another way, and I just have on a classic pair of ripped jeans with this. And I also changed up my shoes again. This time I'm just wearing a classic pair of Nike sneakers. So obviously a lot more casual look on this one. And I found tons of inspiration for this kind of look. A lot of pictures on Pinterest had just the denim and pink shirt look. A lot of them were like a lot more oversized shirts. This is a little bit more fitted. Like I said, it, it is from a different era. It has darts right here, and it's meant to be kind of either tucked in or worn untucked, but the ones I did see on Pinterest had more of like the poofy blousey look, which I don't know if I would wear. I do kind of prefer this style. Like I said, I like that it's classic. If you want to, you could even do like the one side tuck this is kind of in style, I think, still. Okay, another look I found was just wearing this shirt with leggings. So these are my black Lululemon leggings, just basic leggings. And this is a great casual around the house shirt. I work from home. So this is like perfect work from home outfit where I can look great on a video call but be comfortable in my leggings. And then for my shoes on this one, I'm just wearing a leopard print flat. Now my inspiration for the next look is this beautiful striking outfit here with the pink shirt and this gorgeous full pleated green skirt. Now, I don't have a green skirt. I do have a look I could put together that's kind of got this color blocking look. And I have a skirt that's yellow that I'm going to try with this and see if I can kind of get a similar look. So here it is. This is my yellow skirt. This is like that midi skirt length and yellow was kind of a popular color a couple summers ago. I don't know if everybody remembers. It was like uh, tomato girl summer. I think they were calling it. And my last outfit inspiration is this look, which is basically wearing a t-shirt underneath the blouse and tying it at the waist. I'm wearing more of a straight leg jean with this one and my Chelsea boots. What I really like about this outfit is it just changes up the entire silhouette of the shirt by tying it at the waist, makes it really different from some of the other looks that I showed like the first couple of looks was basically the same shirt, but just changing out the pants. This way, it really just changes the entire silhouette of the outfit. And I love using this as like an outer layer, kind of in the same way that you would wear like a denim chambray shirt over something and just putting this over a t-shirt. I love it with this classic black and white stripe. This one really stood out to me.
And here's a look at the jeans. As you can see, they are kind of just a straight leg and I have on a basic brown Chelsea boot. Probably would look great with a black boot also, but I, I just have brown. So these are just some of the looks that I was able to pull up on Pinterest when I put in a search for pink Oxford shirt outfit or a pink shirt outfit. And I got a lot of ideas actually, way more than I could even show here, but I just chose to show some of my favorite ones and the ones that I think I would probably actually wear in a real life setting, whether that be to my office or on a work from home day or just around the house. So thanks for following along with me as I try on these different outfits. I hope that you got inspired to go in your closet and try to find some things that you can style in different ways by looking up some styles on Pinterest. If you like these videos, please give it a like. And if you're not subscribed, I'd love to have you add me to your subscriptions. Please leave me a comment below and tell me which of these outfits was your favorite. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.